TPR. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the DPR pod. A bit delayed, uh, there's a lot of life happening at the moment. You can see the location's also different from the usual one. And I'm sitting on a bed, uh, which is new for intros like these. Today's episode, nevertheless, is a two-parter with a uh, returning guest, Zirak, one of the more common faces on this channel, on the podcast. It's a two-parter. Because we had a very long conversation about two very different things. So I decided the two-parter would be the best way to do it. And also it's out of order. So the second half is a bit more time urgent. That's coming first. That's this episode. This is the Hamnala 2022 uh, review. Talking about all the music that's come out. You've been watching the Roundup series we've been doing with Zirak, who runs Hamnala. So we talk about all the biggest artists, how people have grown and more. The next episode which I don't know yet, so you'll have to check the channel. Maybe it's already out, maybe it's coming out next week. Um, that's going to be about something else. So for now, uh, jump right in, check the tags. There's a lot of interesting stuff. If you're into Pakistani music, how people are growing, how people are getting more famous, more popular, this is a key episode. Zirik has a lot of information and happy to have him, happy to know him. So yeah, check out part number 177 uh, with Zirik, the 2022 Music Roundup. Hard to do it to your other uh, pseudo job. Uh, both these things that we're talking about are pseudo jobs, but they're not your real job, which is the third thing. Um, <clears throat> Uh, one year, I think, well, it's been more than a year since Hamnava has been active. But Isal, I feel Hamnava has been very active. Uh, and really? You think so? I think so. That's good. Because I've been following it. I don't know how many years But I feel like, huh, uh, I've, I've found a good and look. Because I had to talk about music music music. Ke baat karni thi, but I didn't get it. I said, this is what I'm doing. So why not latch on to Zirat? So I latched on to you and those monthly monthly um, <clears throat> how do you feel Hamnava uh, initial dream purpose goal sab kuch tha. how do you feel that's played out this year just as far as far as Hamnava so I think like so Hamnava has been going for about two and a half years now hmm. um, uh, as you, it is a COVID project <laughs> uh, I think I was writing more regularly last year yeah. Um, uh, Isal, I'm writing a little bit less regularly, but I'm doing a lot more kind of playlist type work. Yeah. So I'm listening to way more music um, and compiling it together. Um, and so I think I need to shift the balance a little bit and start writing right. a little right. bit more. But I think we've been doing a lot more uh, podcast work. So it's gotten to a new kind of more different audience. So for me, it's been fun still. Um, and this has been a much more uh, kind of fluid way to talk about it. Because I think writing is is... Yeah, you write to a black hole, you hear back sometimes. <laughs> this being able to converse about it gives you a little different uh, yeah. view. And I think it's influenced also how I curate. Like mm-hmm. figuring out what songs are interesting to other people are very, is is, um, uh, is a very interesting input into how I like figure out, okay, what songs are interesting and where to take it. Um, so I think next year, yeah, I need to figure out some, some good mix in the middle, like where that curation continues. But um, uh more writing kind of comes out okay and then how do you feel uh pakistani because there's now a new hamnava if if you haven't already seen uh, when this episode comes out it's probably been a week since the new hamnava playlist latest last of the year last of the year probably uh, yeah this 2022 hamnava playlist has come out three hour long and I was like, oh, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, how, how do you feel Pakistani music did this year? Really interesting, right? Like from 2020, mm-hmm. like talk about hard pivots, like yeah, bilkuli badal yeah. gaya scene, right? Yeah. If you think about like 2018, 2017, um, ab scene bilkuli different hai. Um, in lots of ways. Uh, but let's look at a few big ones. Like mm-hmm. Coke was a, yeah. it was a hit year for Coke, but yeah. Coke is a blip in the music scene, mm-hmm. right? Even though it was a hit. Yeah. Um, 
And there's so much more other stuff happening, not just in terms of number of artists, number of genres, but also like hit songs, like so many indie and, you know, huge hit songs that are like Coke level that happened with like two guys on a laptop in a room yeah. that made it big yeah. in India, you know, yeah. like we yeah. have lots of those kinds of stories. Um, <clears throat> I think the genres have changed quite a bit. Um, rock is dead, you know, long live rock. Um, Once again. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Lots of electronic stuff, like yeah. lots of hip hop, which I think yeah. all of these trajectories for me are not surprising in 2022 compared to like 21 and 20, if you were listening to it. But I think the scene has just become stronger. Like people that were rising stars last year are now like stars, big ticket items and have settled, mm. right? And they are like d- definitive stars. You see them on billboards, you see them in TV ads, um, you see them on the kind of big productions and then everybody under them is now taken their place. Um and I think the good thing in the industry now is that you see that as uh, the indie stars of last year become big stars today, that there is still a new cast of indie stars that have popped up and taken their place. And so the overall pool is growing, I find. Uh, so the likelihood that you will find new music that you have not heard, that you will find interesting, is higher this year than it was last year. So I think that's a really healthy sign for the industry. Um, uh, I've been in Pakistan a lot more this year than I've been before. I feel like, you know, concerts and... Um, uh, uh, the sort of events around music are increasing quite a bit. So it's no longer just the shows and like a, the corporate shows on TV and the, the few kind of big events that happen, but lots more kind of smaller concerts of varying sizes, uh, multiple people in a lineup, also like one person playing to a small crowd, like large variety um, of that is happening. Um, and Natasha talks about lots, I think in a, in a recent interview, she said like what 2020 did in COVID was by reducing <clears throat> basic radio, the whole concert scene to zero it took this monopoly that all these big artists that were the only ones doing concerts had and yeah. opened made it a level playing field for everyone right like yeah. Bilal Maksud Ali Sethi and all these rappers were all on Instagram and mm-hmm. so now all of them are equal to you and suddenly it has like kind of changed the dynamics of the industry to the point where now when concerts are opening up all of these new folks are performing the big shows just like the old folks right and I, I think, think it has uh, been 2020 is also when game. Spotify be, I think, around that time came. Some, right? Somewhere around that yeah, time, yeah. 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 Huh. So uh, <clears throat> that's been a big boost now across Lahore. You see these like huge Spotify billboards where these like, you know, indie stars are uh, kind of on the road as you're going, which you haven't seen in a long time, I don't think. Yeah. Um, these ads are on TV as well. And so I'm sure that you will begin to see uh, music folks in other advertisements more so now than you have before closer to the scene like you know in the early 2000s when you were seeing like the music folks were were everywhere um so uh yeah i think it's a really healthy year for yeah pakistani music and uh, it's good to be optimistic into next year hmm. i think i had i don't remember now exactly when i tweeted about this being like i don't know if it's the third generation or fourth generation of pakistani pop music maybe fourth but the previous ones were <laughs> the the Cut off between generations was seen um, <laughs> due to some problem. Um, yeah, I think there was the early nineties wala scene, in general, wala. Then there was the. I think that the early nineties scene culminated in Junoon and Vital Signs. Huh. Huh. Like, like the of indie bands. Yeah, those are big people. There was yeah. the early two thousand scene, the Musharraf generation, Indus music scene. Yeah. Indus music generation. Huh. Wo tha. Fir wo khatam ho gaya around when Coke Studio started taking off, but it was over. And, and it was over, but yeah, security situation. <coughs> and then yeah. Coke Studios popped up in 2008, I think, huh. was the first year. Huh. Uh, and then there was a pre-COVID, I think 2017 is when the Kashmir wale boys were saying that concerts have started to happen again. Or... But there's also a scene in the middle, which you know, which we should really have Nadir on the show for, which was this like indie scene in the right. YouTube band era. Right, right. Right. So uh YouTube nahi hai, but indie scene hai, like they have no way of taking their uh art anywhere. The you know, yeah. indie music kind of thing is done. So the TV thing has stopped, Coke Studio <coughs> has taken over all of the kind of mainstream media. Um mm-hmm. uh, and money-wise, YouTube is not going anywhere. And so the entire indie scene from like 2010 to 2015, 16 was sort of dead. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I think the uh, indie scene was huge, but 
obviously just the indie scene cannot be a generation in itself but i think it was big enough to be like a separate note like two so yeah, and I, that, that three, is the wrong term what i mean to say huh. it was a thriving scene that we don't know as much about yeah. like if we look back at it in terms of like artifacts generated <clears throat> how well people know the sort of work that was being done it was not well known so in a way right. like for example like you know sikandar kamandar doing really like interesting new kinds of music but in an era where it was much harder for them to reach their audiences than it perhaps ever the before hardest ha ah, perhaps the right. hardest cuz cuz streaming services to thi nahi i think bahut aise the youtube bhi band tha uh, the genre was also not something which had established roots so harder for people to get into but still thriving concert vaise nahi ho rahe the ha ah, but still yeah. somehow ye log national level wo kar rahe the tours uh, which i think is a new concept yeah. for them Yeah, now that there's stuff happening with Cook Studio again for next year, uh, I did see that Cook Studio is the biggest event, though. I think music-wise, uh, is pure saal me. Um, there is because your playlist has like nearly all the Cook Studio songs. Uh, the end. Yeah, good year. Cook Studio season, right? Like a really ah, good Cook Studio ah. season. So they all deserve to be on there. Um, I think. you know the good thing <coughs> is that cook studio is is a marker of like a high quality production lots of great artists there uh it's sort of well known it's a brand that is well known across the world so it has importance but it is no longer a monopolizing force in the industry yeah. and there are other ways of establishing your metal as an artist as yeah. well yeah yeah like so uh, and and i think in a way um like when ali safi first came on mm. folk was perhaps the only way you could sure build your yeah 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 uh, stature right but if we look at for example aruj <coughs> aftab aruj aftab came on coke after her status was well known and well established as an established person yeah yeah right right and so in a way uh, i think coke's role has changed it has become a kind of artistic center but it is no longer the kind of one place you have to huh. be or need to be which i think is good yeah yeah cuz pehle for a long time i think coke studio was in my view mistakenly considered to be this aspirational uh target where people were like bas hum coke studio pe aa jaye aur phir hamari zindagi badal jayegi and many people did go to coke studio and the outside pakistan had not changed so even going to coke studio didn't bring them the sort of life changing music career that they were thinking but now what i feel is happening with zulfi wala scene is that they're going into like this much more experiment open to experimentation kind of thing which is a, a a good place to be it shows you what could be possible and so i uh, coke also marketed as such right like yeah. coke remember the whole sound of the nation yeah yeah marketing language yeah. right and yeah. which is basically they claim the place to be like we are the showcase ha huh. ha huh. which was i feel like a misnomer to begin with and i don't think <clears> it helped coke yeah. that they took it on because i yeah. think it made them like the place where like in the strings years especially i think um uh, they also had to think about fairness Mm. Con con are like you have to make sure that it's a good cross section, which they still have to do now, like in a way, right? Like in the in terms of merit, but it gave it narrowed their ability to be uh, artistic in particular ways. Yeah, yeah. Um, because you think that you have to be like a showcase for the entire country always. Um, uh, but the and and so artists thought of it that way as well, which is natural. I think even today, Coke has a serious impact in the bump that it makes on artists' listenership. Yeah. Like if you are an indie artist and you show up on Coke, it makes a serious difference. And we can actually go go over which artists have gone from small to big this yes, year. Yes, yes. Um, and so in there, there's a there's a number <clears> of people that like you can tell that there is a Coke Studio effect there because they yeah. have a kind of established brand. Um, yeah. But yeah, otherwise, what you're saying is right, which is that uh, this year Coke Studio like smaller number of songs, right? A smaller number of songs that included lots of different producers. um if experimental is one way to describe it i would say that it's also just acknowledging like the wide range of genres that is happening yeah. already and is very popular so in a yeah. way it is simply just opening the doors to new kinds of sounds that yeah. were not on coke studio before but are popular and established to begin with like talal for example uh-huh. is not an obscure sound yeah so talal qureshi on coke studio is a evolution of talal qureshi's individual work yes so it is not different for it is not experimental <laughs> for talal and talal is not obscure to begin with so is coke studio becoming experimental as a result or is it just simply saying okay talal you were coke studio ah. the band culture before and now tum bhi aa jao you know yeah no you know so i think coke studio where perhaps pehle there was such a big focus on the past the musical history of pakistan where perhaps they didn't think that they had the room to look at what is happening 
currently in the music scene. Now, music scene, Shahrukh's work was less active, and it was also tied very much to like the live band orchestra <clears throat> format. Right? Like for me, it's really interesting if you look like Coke Studio season three was the first time they allowed bands to come in. Mm. Like EP came in, or those things like where well, Caravan came in, and then they decided this whole band scene doesn't work. Singer yeah, yeah, because it like it doesn't fit our format. Huh. And six was like when they changed the format a little bit, but then they went back to like the orchestra. Yeah. Um, and so that was the only way it could expand. And so this season they've broken that again. And so it's all, um, it's much more uh, electronic. Like there's some kind of live production and live playing, but there's a lot more elements to it, um, which I think has been like a fresh change, and everybody seems to like it. Mm. Uh, we have a lot of I asked people uh, again last minute. Three hours before this was due to begin. Uh, Lots of responses, like uh, good tweeting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was <laughs> like, uh, nobody's going to reply, uh, but then people did reply. So thank you very much. Uh, there were the questions were uh, if you have missed it at the time, uh, top three artists and top three songs of this year. <clears throat> people gave a wide number of uh, responses. Uh, many of them were the Coke Studio songs, like Coke Studio songs. Coke Studio came out like the start of the year and up in December if people are still putting like lots of pasuris piche heart lots of times phir milenge lots of times like and this is like I'm, kan, I'm giving, kanayari lots of times kanayari just give me three songs from the whole year uh, I think this is I don't remember a Coke Studio which at the end of the year people would be like haan bro wo Coke Studio wala gana abhi tak like I'm listening I mean but like you know, if you don't listen to it, then when you Like, literally, like a global hit. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, it's... And and I think what happens with these, like, global hits also is that multiple waves appear. Kana Yari Ka Bhi, like the whole quick style video and then the kind of... Yes, uh, yes. That there, with these songs, there are kind of multiple waves that you see them. Yeah. Uh, which I think is kind of really, really interesting and, and nice yeah. to see. Uh, among the artists, uh, very common to see Kefi. Young Stunners, very common. Uh, Hassan Big Rahim, year for them. Yeah, Hassan Rahim, very common. Hassan Rahim, I think, was exploding last year. Is Sal, yeah. he's been on Coke. Perhaps, I think, fewer releases this year. I think, I think so. Yeah, I should, I should check. I'm not, I don't know for sure if he had fewer <laughs> releases this year than last year, but I would guess so yeah. um, from memory. Yeah, I think he's working on some new stuff. Banyan Mita Sweetie Ayman ki on his Instagram. I think that's the album cover. So look out for that. Um, uh, Rosie Omanu, you Abdul Hannan, an artist I was not very aware of, but appearing in many a... people. Uh, and the the instigator of the indie hit this year, multiple ones, my dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On your playlist, crazy. Uh, Abdul Hannan, quite a few Abdul Hannan songs. And I went, listen, well, oh, yeah, I've heard this song. Huh, you may know. I didn't know the name because, again, old person. Uh, but uh, Abdul Hannan was there. Any unusual ones? Let's see. Uh, Shaykh, Laru, Jafta, Fai Shavi, Abdul Hanan. Someone said HR. I was like, Ach, Hasan Rahim. Uh, <laughs> um, young Stunners. Young Stunners everywhere. Abdul Hanan is also everywhere. Uh, someone said Dusk, which is an extreme shout out. But yeah, he's a metal, metal uncle. Hai <clears throat> uh, but still, Abdul Hanan. Uh, young Stunners, I would have expected... Uh, it's just Alex, not youngster. It's act, so that's interesting, actually. Yeah, like yeah. in the on the hip hop Insta pages, yeah, right, there is a question like, where is Tala Yunus's next song coming? Yeah, so they did a few things together. I think they're like their work together this year became corporate, big brand, good for them because I think they've been like kind of building up to this for a while. And Anjum had a lot more solo work this year than Yunus, yes. Did, I think. yes, so it's Lee Anjum ka naam bar bar aare. Uh, as a kind of separate artist as well. <clears throat> Hope this is not a sign of a panda. Uh, uh, beef. No, no, Inka to ho chuka hai ek dafa. Inka ho bhi chuka like, hai, haan, They haan. separated, they came yeah. back. No, yeah. no, I, uh, <clears throat> I think it's good. The way that they manage their solo and their joint career is really smart. I find Achha, Also, uh, behind this. all these uh, references to Young Stunner and Tala, also, I mean, uh, uppercase Omer must also then be involved because... Oh, big uh, uppercase Omer and there's also Joke. Joke, Joke is not like on the list, but Joke is like very central to the scene. But yeah, yeah. uppercase Umel yeah. is, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like we've given him a new handle, <laughs> which I'm not sure he will appreciate. But, uh, Umel, yeah. you see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, still, I think Coke Studio really had an enormous uh, impact. Did you 
even though you've made a list of a three and a half hour worth of music, if you were forced at uh, gunpoint, which this could could be considered to be that sort of environment, uh, <laughs> three songs, three artists, perhaps, which wouldn't be favorite is so on this part. He has that playlist. Please, you can see uh-huh. Three songs. Three <clears throat> songs is hard, but I like. I'll name a few that I think really stand out. Um, the Abdul Hanan. I would say his first song, the Bika. Ha ha. Jo wo dark wala. Ek to happy wala hai na Irade. Jo Bika jo first song tha. It is like a legit mm. hit. You kabi bhi sun sakte hain wo gana and you will start humming it. Doesn't get yeah. old. Yeah. It is like legit very good. Um. So I think that that has to be on there. I'm gonna put the Coke ones to aside because Coke is sure. like right. It's a different sure. ball game. So yeah. I'm not. I'm not going to touch the the Coke songs. Um, what other ones? Like cold hours. Cold hours. I don't think no. it's like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like <clears throat> maybe not the one that I go back to most personally, but wow, what a like huge hit. No, no. Well, ah, me neither. But I think whenever I listen to it, I'm always like, "Yari, how much fun!" It's funny every time I like share it with someone that does not listen to rap. They're like, "What happened to today's music?" Go. <laughs> <laughs> I sent it to somebody who I thought we would like relate to the feeling of like helplessness sort of in the song because like that's a vibe even though if it's not really in your life you're like ah bro maybe sad do um but uh, he completely did not resonate Omar Ahmed I feel like it's one of those songs where you like <laughs> sometimes it doesn't click like for example yeah. like a root singing uh, old melodies in the way that she does like for some people just it doesn't they don't know how to Twitter interpret issue, it a few days ago uh, uh huge huge the culture was uh, i am organized. i'm spending more time on mastodon now so i'm missing more Achha. of these huge twitter <laughs> twitter moments acha to um i think natasha also lekin jo ke we have to mention big stuff this year uh i think uh, big year for her yeah ha uh like laya was a great song the boiler room thing was great the hasan rahim song was great uh-huh. um and aage ja ke i think more and more stuff coming out uh yeah this year yeah she's looking at more stuff more stuff coming out but like yeah big year for her <coughs> um uh it's yeah the yeah. numbers also say so yeah acha ah to phir uh numbers ki ab aapne baat kari ha so so you have been formally uh which is something i appreciate because i think nerd nerd vibes uh tracking the performance of artists uh, in terms of listenership uh, engagement or whatever listenership i think is a good way to call it uh, how interested people are in their work and how often it is being listened to or viewed or whatever across a few formats for 300 is is it still the number 300 ek zamane mein yeah about 300 Yeah, wow. when when first we started talking Zira and I about uh, Humnava, and uh, he mentioned this tracking. Us time, so he said, "I I have this database. America, will there be a database? I mean, I don't know. It it is a database, and there are three hundred ish people there. Uh, so numbers, his opinion, because numbers don't lie, and uh, this will give us a completely inarguable uh, point of view that nobody will have any disagreements with. Uh, oh, we need that. When is it? Numbers? numbers? Big numbers? <laughs> It's funny. Like I, I was. Uh, 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 I was. 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 I अगर सही नंबर होते योर पेरेंट्स वुड नॉट हैव सेड दिस एंड आई एम श्योर हमारी ऑडियंस एंड ऑल ऑफ पाकिस्तान वुड आल्सो बिहेव द सेम वे व्हाट आर सम टेक अवेस जो आप बता सकते हैं फ्रॉम योर सो आई थिंक सो द फॉर मी माय डेटाबेस इज नाउ व्हाट 11000 डेटा पॉइंट्स सो आई हैव टू बी केयरफुल इन टू हाउ आई लुक एट इट बट बेसिकली फॉर मी लाइक एन इंटरेस्टिंग एंगल इज लेट्स लुक एट पीपल्स स्पॉटिफाई ग्रोथ फ्रॉम अर्लियर इन द ईयर टू नाउ Oh, like who has grown the most right, right because this right. way like you can look at it from like who are the biggest artists at last start of last year to now and if that's not really interesting because like atif aslam could have a bad year and it wouldn't make a difference he <laughs> yeah. would still be number one kadam ho gaya kare so <laughs> ha like atif could put out three horrible songs and yeah. it would make no difference yeah. so that tells us nothing um not that atif put out three horrible songs i'm just saying i put no, that's atif exactly what he sort of stuff <laughs> 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 please don't at me uh, so But so what I'm tracking is uh, let's look at people's Spotify like monthly listenership, 
hmm. and where they started and where they where they've gone and i'm looking sure. only at artists who at the end of the year had like 30000 or above because other than <laughs> that it becomes too noisy right so let's go through this list 30000 number more. one in 30000 li- monthly listeners on right. spotify at right. the end of the year huh. which is today okay so top of the list you have, have a guess of who has grown the most and by how much who has grown the most uh, ali marke i would say Ali Marke, you are right. So my first oh, data shit. point of Ali is actually not even January. Uh-huh. It is June is when I have his first data. And he had like roughly 17,000 listeners <clears> on Spotify. <throat> he is now at 1,300,000. What? what? At a growth rate of 7,500%. <laughs> what? In, in six months? In six months. Huh, huh. Uh, and I mean, we could say that this is primarily because of one song. Uh, Almost entirely. Uh, yeah, I think he has like a couple more big hits also, <coughs> but I think huh. it's driven a lot by like cold hours. Recent, recent growth Crazy. has cold hours. Wow, amazing. Uh, Crazy. Yeah. Okay, so you can probably guess number two. Oh no. Uh, no. Just tell me. <laughs> Ab pressure aage, I don't Upper case Umair. Upper case Umair. Achha, achha. <laughs> uh, who in January was also like 20,000-ish and is now at... 1.6 million. Very good. Is it, Crazy. Upper is also on code hours, no? Yes. Yeah. Right, huh. right. Which is why I said you could probably guess. Uh, but imagine, people who had 20,000 listeners at the beginning of the year now have <laughs> 1.6 million. It is amazing. I think yeah. this is this is great. And okay. it's it's and then, it's continuing. So, it means that people kept uh, coming back. That audience so these are two snapshots stayed. from January to December. Yeah. Like this is, if there's a blip in the beginning and it come down, so they might have had a higher number of listeners in the middle, but I'm right. just comparing January to December. Right. And it's still huge. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Amazing. That's so cool. I think amazing. Okay. So the next three are total Coke studio effect. Okay. Zan Zohib, Karakoram, oh, okay. and Ali Sethi in right. terms of growth rate, all of right. whom have grown between two and 3,000%. Ali Sethi also. Uh, Ali Sethi, I mean, imagine. Well, Pasuri. Ali oh, oh, had, I keep forgetting. Ali Sethi has... 270,000 listeners at the beginning of the year and now has close to 6 million. Oh, shit. Achha. Achha. Which is also crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, um, you know, the Coke also. Studio, so Coke Studio impact is Karakoram had 4,000 listeners at the beginning of the year and now have 134,000. Mm. Okay. Okay. So Coke, Coke does have an impact. Yeah. Um, yeah. In, in that sense. Mm. But yeah, 6 million for early city. Like, wow. Yeah. Great. Any. <laughs> Are you measuring or do you want to talk about drops? People who are losing at a significant level. Ke bhai, please. Uh, you can. Apologize. Okay. I will. I will let you guess who is the bottom of my list <clears throat> in terms of growth rates. Don't know. Uh, I think maybe would it be someone who's not alive? Like, uh, I can't imagine Nusrat losing followers. Uh, but who is it? Junoon. Oh, <laughs> Really? Junoon is losing listeners. Yeah. Wow. Uh, what's what's the fastest the, rate that I'm measuring? What's the what's the rate? Are the numbers like noticeable? Between June and now, like twenty percent. Wow, twenty percent listeners down for. But you but, know what this means also. For a long time, Junoon was the. Well, log bas Junoon sunte hain. Pakistani music is just Junoon. I think this is less to do with I don't like Junoon anymore. More that. There are so there are many less people. There are so there many rest people. But also, the Junoon Spotify page. And <coughs> like if you listen <coughs> to Dore Junoon, the songs are labeled one off. Oh. Okay. Like, a song ka title or actual gana ba ugly track me. Hey? So, I feel, gee, bahut, it's just, it's so frustrating. Wow. If you listen to Dore Junoon on Spotify, just know that the track names are one off. And what? you may thank me for this fact, or you may hate ah, me for this fact. He's saying but one it off. Is, it is, is horrible. A weird way of saying incorrect. <laughs> the names are wrong, is what he's saying. By one. No, no. By one off, I mean very specific. Only coders will understand this term. A one off <laughs> error is a common type of error, <laughs> where literally your labeling is one off. Right, 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 right. And for my. So it is minority, not a one off error. It is. Huh. My minority non coder audience. <laughs> coders <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah that's what it means it's it's incorrect by one th- every song is labeled the previous song's name or the next yes. whatever it might be sure yeah. I think this is something that so is yes are they are losing 20% every 6 months <laughs> I understand <laughs> 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 they're saying something else <laughs> shit okay yeah. 
So the <laughs> next three on my list are very interesting. Hmm. Okay. Hassan and Roshan grown nearly 2000%. Okay, okay. Arsalan Hassan. Arsalan Hassan, famously English yeah. singer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will stay quiet. And Ali Alvi who has grown to like for yeah, Ali Alvi. Okay, right? I don't know him. No. Yeah, Electropop gone from like 5000 to 60000 listeners, so good year for him. Okay. Yeah, then Natasha's on there. Okay. Right after. And then uh Is Chuktai. Is Chuktai. Yeah, I Z Z. No. I Z Z. Uh, is Chuktai is uh <coughs> in the same scene as Abdul Hanan. Okay. Um but he does like Electropop. Have you heard right. Marshall Ahmed ever? I've heard the name. I think I've seen these names written in places. Perhaps uh, also now like Dugana ko aaya hoga Spotify mein like uh-huh. so think like Hasan Rahim but like a little bit more synthy. Acha acha acha. Hmm. How's Hasan Rahim doing so this year? Let's talk about the big people, na. Uh and also you want to do the context thing like top 5 artists in Pakistan by listenership or top Ah, uh, sure. Acha we'll do it in a different way. But ha let's see how's Hasan Rahim doing this year. Pehle let's do. Hasan doing great. Yeah. He went from like uh, <clears throat> you know 230 to 730. Okay. 1000. Right. So like he's right. he's grown by like a you know between a multiple of 2 and 3. So uh-huh. good year for Hasan. Yeah. Like he's he closing up on a million listeners which is not that many artists by the way. Like if you yeah. hit a million in Pakistan you are in like a very top echelon of mm. uh, um uh, of people. How many people just as a number? How many artists are above a million at the end of the year? Mavzirx at the end of the year so i did i did a, a version of this on uh, the mailing list a little while ago Achha. so basically of above a million is like roughly 20 okay at any given time of which like 10 or above 4 million and okay. the other 10 are between like 1 and 3 ha huh. so huh. if you hit a million you are in that like top 20 or <clears throat> okay yeah which is I mean still out of 300 people who firstly 300 people who are you who you are following which means that they yeah. are people who are at some level good right or known or they're not like complete unknowns there's some matlab ye kaha so so log zyada sun rahe honge like something if, like if that but yeah so usme yeah. there's like 300 people and there's only 20% which are above 1 million No, no, twenty. Sorry, he, just twenty. Twenty ah, people. Just twenty yeah, yeah. people. So like sub ten <clears> percent. <throat> and four million super. Go- who are the? Us me established quote unquote lo kitne? Like who are the established people? Well, four million se upar. Four million se upar to aate Farhat, Nusrat, Shafkat Amanat Ali, like Bollywood Shafka and Ali, Ali Sethi. Ah, oh. Bollywood. Acha acha and Ali Sethi. So inko nikal pa. Thik hai. Ah, who are above the one million maale me hi bata do chalo. Who are the established wale jinko hum nikal sakte hain ek to char to ye hoga char panch to ye hoga acha ye to 4 million wale ho gaye na roughly theek hai jo 1 million se upar wale hain imran khan usko bhi nikal do i think he's mainstream yeah bohemia okay still mainstream okay fine ha asim azhar asim azhar okay above a million hmm. yeah ha upper case umair upper case umair so upper case umair and ali marke i think is also above a million na hmm. ali marke is now on there yeah <coughs> Azan Sami oh. Khan is now on there. Who? Azan Sami Khan. Adnan Sami ka beta. Mm. Why? He has songs? I saw him on your drama. <laughs> But how obviously yeah, he has he has, <laughs> he has uh, songs that a million people are listening to. Holy shit. Acha. Okay. Huh? That's a surprise. So he's big like a lot of like drama OST folks. Mm. So like Farhan Saeed is still big. Yashal Shahid who does a lot of OSTs is big. So a lot of like million type listeners but if you're listening to indie music you might not run into that right 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 to koi indie indie boys mein se kaun hai there's upper case from here there's aleem chalo usko bhi dal hi dete hain i forgot his name ari bazar ha ari bazar ari bazar bhi dal dete hain sort of ari bazar even though asim asim bazar ha ari bazar is another uh, voice of god acha uh, indie boys mein se kaun kaun hai so shay gill is on there um shay gill asuri right okay sure momin amustasan is on big fall Big follower. Momina Mustasin ke kitne wo hain? Plays views whatever. She has like two and a half million, but she also started the year at like nearly two million. Right. So she is like stable, like solid big tickets. Ha ha ha. Which ha. is, even though she doesn't have a lot of releases year on year, 
I think last yeah. year she had a couple songs with uh, Bilal Saeed. Uh, is hmm. oh, Bilal Saeed and Mahan. Is Bilal Saeed and there was a couple songs on uh, Cook Studio. But oh, yeah. uh, not that many regular Momina Mustafa releases. Right. And yet, 2 million at the start, only 2.5 right. million at the end. Uh, that's so, so it's like, we have, there's this bucket of people closing <clears> in <throat> on a million where all these like indie folks are, which is really interesting. Yeah. So like yeah, Abdul yeah. Hanan, uh, Kathy Khalil. Okay, okay. Closing in on a million. Ravalio, who is Bro. a producer who did the two Abdul Hanan songs that were hits. Yes, yes. Uh, Talan Jum. Uh, Hassan Rehm. Where are Young Stunners? If Talan Jum. Yeah, yeah, the same. Wo bhi achha, bucket mein. Achha, young achha. Stunners bhi hai isme. Haan, alag se bhi or together. Um, uh, uh, and then uh, then we get into like the 500 house bucket which is smaller but this uh-huh. is like the people that are rising up to a million uh-huh. I'm, I'm, so I suppose this is where the this is the bucket uh, where's the most active most turnover I think year on year wale pe dekhna padega agle saal ke end mein jo uh, wo hai na, analysis that's an interesting mein. question actually like what genre or like where which buckets is the most movement yeah in. Yeah, I would say the most movement is happening in, uh, let's see. <clears throat> so, uh, I think the most movement is happening in that sort of between hundred thousand and a million range. Acha, pretty right? big. And it's been bahut sari, bahut sari interesting movement. Hai. So, uh-huh. for example, let's take uh, Kafi, right? So Kafi yeah. went from like a hundred thirty thousand at in May, which yeah. is like post Kanayari, by the post way. Kanayari, I huh? think. I yeah, think yeah, yeah. May is yeah, post Kanayari, yeah. right? And then he's now at like nearing a million mm. because of his like one hit song, Kahani is to know. Mm, mm, mm. So Kafi, really interesting. Faris, big move this year, <coughs> went from like 60,000 to 400,000. Yeah, Faris uh, famously rappers. does not release a lot of songs, but then also very popular uh, on Coke Studio. Huh? Uh, popular on Coke. Uh, and then he did this song with Raftar just now. Yes, yes, big song. Big song. Uh, yeah. uh, so then, um, uh, Shari is like a rapper uh, okay. in the stunner scene. Went from like eight thousand to forty thousand. Oh uh, shit! Sure. Yeah, Talal big moves like went from seventy thousand to like three hundred thousand. Okay, okay. Abdullah Sid- Abdullah Siddiq. Acha, acha Abdullah Siddiq. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, it's a big production year for him. Taaji, mm-hmm. big mm-hmm. year. Taaji, I like uh, Taaji. Uh, uh, Boljani or Boljani. Spotify name is Jani. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wo, yeah. Aapko from Magbal fame. Yeah, oh my god. Your, the song that yeah. traumatized you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is the Fabi Aj Aya tha on the playlist? I skipped it. I, like, <laughs> I can't deal with this. It's a great song. Too good. <laughs> is the song. Yeah, 30,000 to 100,000. <clears> like really big. Yeah. What so Anjum went from like 300,000 to like 800,000. So Achha. like lots of big moves. Achha. What would you say is there, can we define by we, I mean you, uh, can a threshold be defined? Why would you say that you are an established artist? Hai. Would that be a million or can that be lower? No, no, I think it's lower. I think if you have hit. <clears throat> honestly, I'm looking at my list now. Sorry, I'm just going to check my phone for uh-huh. Like to be in like the top 100 artists, you have to hit 100,000. To be in the top 100 artists in the country. Haan, say, say, say. So this is also a good way of looking at it. 100. Of this 300, so basically a third of these artists are above 100,000 monthly active listeners. Uh, yeah. Achha. yeah which, and if you're in that bucket, right? Huh. Then you go up and down, you have one hit song, because that 4 million is sort of unrealistic. Right? Sure, sure. But basically, once you have 100,000 listeners, right? Huh. Huh. <laughs> once you have 100,000 listeners, you are like, you know, you're playing a real game. Right. Um, <clears throat> and so then you can think about like doing it economically. You have roughly that level of Instagram following also, right? In the tens of thousands. At that point, people are asking you for deals. They're calling you for concerts. Like you can make something out of it. Yeah. Um, and so I think that 100,000 listeners number is like you You need to be taken seriously at that point. Uh, uh, I wonder how many of these people would consider themselves full-time musicians. You yeah. Would you know? Uh, like it's list ko dekke, like how many people are just doing uh I don't know actually creative work. Um I'd be surprised if it was more than half. <clears throat> Achha, you would expect it to be less than half. Of this I would think so. of this one hundred people. Yeah. Hmm. Because your top wali actor be. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. The bottom but actor, wali actor, actor I think bhot kam honge. Uh 
लाइक होंगे बट दोस आर प्रोबेबली हां मतलब आई मीन द ओएसटी वाले इस तरह में क्या अम आई थिंक अ लॉट ऑफ दीस रैपर्स प्रोबेबली हैव अदर जॉब्स दैट्स माय सेंस लाइक द प्रोड्यूसर्स प्रोबेबली हैव गॉन फुल टाइम द प्रोड्यूसर्स प्रोबेबली हैव फुल टाइम या या बिकॉज़ देयर जस्ट देयर नेट इज वाइडर एंड दे डोंट नीड टू बी लाइक coming up with as much stuff on their own like lyrics and i think economically there. like producers like yeah. sometimes they paid by artists like there is a sort of economic net there but artists i think like they have to be big enough to be independent ha uh, ha uh, like uh. you need to have concerts you need to have an instagram following exactly. like as a producer exactly. you don't need an instagram following to be economically viable right right as a producer you need like 10 artists to follow you and hire you do you, you think uh, again you you don't live in pakistan and you're not involved in the media scene on the day to day do you think that these numbers uh wo wali baat hai na fir the do the numbers is, are the numbers telling the full story or or are there vibes associated also vibes ko to aap quantify nahi kar sakte na to fir in terms of like who is more famous who is more popular the numbers might be saying this but do people who are spending the money on these people would they be taking just these numbers into account ya unki apni vibes bhi aa rahi honge Which is like that you I don't I don't think anybody's looking at these numbers. <laughs> I don't think anybody knows these numbers. I don't even the artist might not even know these numbers. Yeah. Yeah. So no, I don't these numbers should be I feel like it will be a surprise to many people. Mm. I don't think many people are looking at it, right? Like if I'm looking at like one of the more interesting things for me is jo hum baat kar rahe the ki scene kaisa revive hua hai, we actually have empirical proof it. So if we look uh 30,000 listeners at the end of the year. Ha. Oh. Right? So I have a total uh uh how many do i have but 100 120ish okay. that have over 30000 listeners at the end of the year yeah hmm? of which only roughly 10 have lost listeners from the beginning of the year to the end of the year matlab so scene everybody else has grown ha uh, ha uh. scene is growing like the uh. net pool is growing like <clears throat> more people are being pulled in this so i think like our whole like initial vibes was correct Huh. um i think the vibes in terms of the top 10 20 artists are correct uh because aap dekh sakte hain unko 4 billion view mile hain they can anywhere between this like 100000 to million range i don't think people really know what's happening yeah yeah do you want this list to be like do you want people to get in touch with you for this list because you know pata hai yeah sure ha kitna influential podcast hai no no it's i think cuz you can also look at much more interesting <laughs> things right like you if you're an artist and you say um how am i doing on various platforms and right. where does that change and how does that compare to other people in the industry right like right? that gives a lot of insight about what sort of market you want to tag uh-huh. and maybe the people that you think are your peers are not actually your peers right like right. people that you think are making the same genre of music may be different from the people that have the listeners that you do uh-huh. and so there is more to learn like for example if you have 100000 listeners and the people that you work with or the people that you make music with have like 500 or 50 then the techniques that you may be using will be at a market stage that is different from where you are and it mm. makes more sense to look at other people that are around that same level of listenership so who those people are what they're doing how they're growing what their trajectories are yeah. is something that is worth knowing and i think as a production company like if you're building a cook studio competitor show right and you want to know who to bring you want to bring people that are on an upward trajectory yeah yeah and how do you prove that and, they are on an upward trajectory right. and a mix of upward trajectories like you want <clears> some people that are smaller some people that are bigger some people that can actually attract eyeballs to your show and some people who your show made because right. then they will become right. the the people that represent your show uh, uh, like ali sethi in a way like uh, is a bigger star than coke now <laughs> yes right but coke in a way built ali sethi's early career yes yes so uh, you want to build those stars Mm-hmm. and so who those people are you want to take those bets on and you want some level of proof that that is happening right like kafi khalil for example based on some growth you are in a, you are playing a different game mm-hmm. as a show than you would have otherwise so i think like these things are uh interesting to think about and and know about do you think you'll publish this uh, some extracts from this on what you said some you, you put it in some, uh, some of this data is of course proprietary and i am yeah. willing to offer to people so get <clears throat> yeah. in touch yeah. but yeah some of it i published because it's just interesting to know about it and so uh, for me like seeing what things you react to also is interesting especially these like who is it uh, how big a year it has been for some people is actually kind of interesting to yeah. go from yeah. like 10000 listeners to 1 million like that it's great and so ah. um, ah. i think like writing about that would be really interesting and this is mainly spotify tracking 
I'm doing Spotify, I'm doing YouTube, Instagram, all the But because uh, these are the main three mediums, right? Spotify, Instagram, yeah. and uh, YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and this will be an annual thing. You will do this next year, and like yeah, forward. yeah. No, I do this. Uh, we we should do this <clears throat> annually. Um, but yeah, this number tracking I do at a much more granular basis, yeah. so we can we can we can extract like more interesting trends as well. Abhi toh bade bade cheese discuss karein yeah. both like base. Uh, okay. Recommend Coming this to everyone. Next next Coke Studio is going to be a, a much more excel than than <laughs> you could or should expect. <laughs> ठीक है जी जीरे साहब थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर टाइम पीपल हु अग्री डिसएग्री विद द फाइंडिंग्स राइट टू हिम मैं तो था ही नहीं तुम्हारे नंबर्स गलत हैं या या नहीं मानता या नंबर्स देमसेल्व्स हु कैन से इफ दे आर राइट और रॉन्ग बट या आई थिंक दिस इज गुड वी विल कंटिन्यू एक आ जाएगा आपको खौफनाक सा मैसेज ऑन व्हाट्सएप के इस मंथ की एपिसोड अब ड्यू है ही इज गोइंग टू बी अ चिप मंक लुकिंग एट मी फ्रॉम बिहाइंड अ रॉक Yeah. <laughs> um but yeah I think this is good and I'm glad we're doing this and uh, hopefully your keyboard gets more popular and maybe I also uh download it uh and then cuz my iPhone to hai um but yeah download Martin Saz links to everything below Hamnawa interact listen to music and uh this episode comes out in the new year I think theek hai koi closing message youth ke liye kaam ke liye happy new year oh acha already <laughs> हो चुका हमारे लिए नहीं हुआ आपके लिए सेकंड जैन बोल दिया ना द हैप्पी ठीक है ऑल राइट थैंक्स एवरीबॉडी